Hi kiddos, it's Pastor Elizabeth. Welcome to the Children's Moment from Meadow Springs Presbyterian Church. Well, you may be wondering, what are you doing at this door with this candle? I wanted to tell you a story about someone who came at night to talk with Jesus. There was a man named Nicodemus, and he was one of the leaders in the church in Jesus' time. And Nicodemus had been listening to Jesus talk. He had been seeing Jesus do his thing, do his ministry, do wonderful, amazing things. And there was something in Nicodemus that said, this man is from God. And I have to think that he wanted to find out more and that something drew him to want and ask a question of Jesus. But for whatever reason, we don't know exactly why, Nicodemus decides to come at night. That's why I've got my candle here. I imagine he came by candlelight to knock at the door where Jesus was staying. So I want you to come in with me and let's take a look. So here we are in the room, maybe a room much like where Nicodemus found himself sitting next to Jesus at a table over candlelight. I have to imagine it was kind of late. Maybe Jesus was already in bed and when he heard that knock of Nicodemus on the door, he woke up. But knowing Jesus, he was probably ready to have a conversation no matter the hour of night. You know, there's something really wonderful about having someone that you can talk to, that you can trust with any question. Have you ever had a question that maybe you weren't quite sure that you wanted to ask? You just weren't sure, right? And so you, you found someone who was safe, who you knew wouldn't uh, get mad or upset, and you were able to ask that question and find out some answer. To it. Well, I hope that you do have someone in your life like that. And I want you to know that Jesus is always someone you can go to through prayer and asking questions. But I hope too that you have a person in your life, someone in flesh and blood, someone who talks, someone who can hug, right? That you can bring any and all your questions to because it's so wonderful. It's so important when we have someone in our lives like that. Well, on that night, Jesus was that for Nicodemus. Jesus was a safe place for Nicodemus to come and explore questions about God. Now, Nicodemus didn't necessarily get the answer that he was expecting. In fact, Jesus, as Jesus usually does, went to the heart of the matter and really saw into Nicodemus's heart and challenged him even to understand the truth. But that's what a good friend does. A good friend listens very carefully. A good friend also challenges us in our thinking and in our doing. And so kiddos, as we think about who Jesus can be for us, I hope that you know that Jesus is your friend and that you can bring anything to Jesus at any time of night, at any time of day, but two, I pray that you have someone in your life right now who can do the very same because we get to be Jesus to other people and other people get to be Jesus to us. Let's pray. God, we thank you for people like Nicodemus who ask questions. And even though Nicodemus felt he had to go at night, in the middle of the night, to seek Jesus out, we are thankful that he did. I pray, God, that these children in their questions come to you and come to trusted friends. We pray that you would place good people in their lives who would allow them to ask their questions and explore their faith in God. Let them know the love of Jesus for them, God. In your name, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Kiddos, be well this week. I will see you next week. Bye for now.